let me give you a quick run around the, one of the probe in the plasma fairly effect polarimeter based on the uh, uh, one of the video I will link down below to the left hand left hand uh, left handed polarized light uh, and right so left hand and right hand polarized light have different uh, phase velocity uh, given the uh, given the given the frequency and the density and the magnetic field for our scenario I take the current D3D uh, D3D uh, D3D fusion device uh, in the mid, in the pedestal region uh, we have around 10 to the 20 uh, particles per square uh, per cubic meter uh, that correspond to the plasma plasma frequency of 1.6 10 to the 11 hertz uh, for the two tesla magnetic field we have a cyclotron frequency electron cyclotron frequency around uh, 5 10 to the 10 hertz uh, let's just uh, for sake I uh, would take uh, a red light 7 uh, 700 nanometer uh, red light uh, that's around 4.3 10 to the 14 hertz as you can see the frequency of the light is much bigger than the plasma and the plasma frequency and the cyclotron frequency. So this is valid. That means we can omega. So we can uh, think omega is a bigger number, and we can Taylor expand ex expand in terms of uh, omega p over omega, omega c over omega. And then we're left with this expression. We have k plus minus delta k. Um, you can do that in your own le leisure, leisure because this is pretty much the basic Taylor expansion you have and they ended up having this this is a delta k and uh, as we know the definition of a wave, a wave number is uh, 2 pi over lambda so, the, so if there's so they have a different wave number meaning uh, after traveling in the in a uh, in a certain distance, they will have a certain a certain phase difference. So from that, we know the for traveling the distance z, we, we have a phase difference delta phi equals delta k z. And uh, using the def uh, using the ex uh, definition of o omega p and omega c e, plug it in here, we left with a. Uh, this expression. By the way, this is all in the uh, Gauss Gauss unit. Gaussian unit. We're left with this. So, so that's basic the phase difference. Let's illustrate in the scenario in uh, to to probe to probe this parameter. We have a the the no, the, the frequency is known. The the length uh, the light travels is known, and this is what. Uh, what we're quantity we're measuring. So if we uh, put a laser in, uh, laser in in it, um, and they reflect back, and they go to the polarimeter, get decompose to the right hand polarized light, left hand polarized light, and we put into the oscilloscope. Uh, we have for left hand, we have. So basically we have phi plus minus delta phi. Similar to this, basically we multiply with z on both sides. Then then the then we have uh, this is this is phi minus phi this phi uh, sorry this phi minus delta phi this phi de plus delta phi. So the phase difference between those two cur two sine wave uh, or any uh, any wave will be will be 2 delta phi and for this the length to travel uh, across the density and the magnetic field might not be constant over the over the the location so we do a, a line integral and then this like the phase difference will be will be basically this quantity from uh, so basically we can extract we can know a little bit more of a of a density weighted magnetic field. 